guys, welcome back to another video. So what I have here with me today is the M2 Pro MacBook Pro. This is the 14 inch base version. This laptop caught me by surprise, so let's talk about it. So Apple unexpectedly released this MacBook Pro and everyone didn't expect this to happen just because they thought that they were going to release this back in October or November. When they finally did the announcement, this caught everyone by surprise. So I'm here to talk about it. The M1 MacBook Pro came out back in October 2021 and that was probably the most liked Apple MacBook ever besides the ones that were back in 2013. So Windows came out. Uh, they finally took out the touch bar, they brought back the MagSafe, and they also brought back the memory card reader. Thank you, Apple, for doing that. They also added the mini LED screen with a high refresh rate. And the reason that's cool is because now it has better contrast. Dark pictures are actually dark pictures. So if you don't know what mini LED is, it's basically they have mini light bulbs and they have a bunch of dimming zones. Blacks in display will be super black. Colors will pop and it will be very vibrant. And I think Apple said that this screen can go all the way up to 1600 nits, which is crazy for a display on a laptop. And lastly, they added a high refresh rate. If you've ever used a high refresh rate monitor, you know that everything's super smooth and really good addition to the 2021 MacBook. So let's talk about what's changed in this laptop. First, the MagSafe. It is now the same color as your laptop. However, at the end of the USB-C, it looks like it's still white. Come on, Apple. Why can't you just match this all the way? They still have the Thunderbolt 4 ports. They have the headphone jack. They have the HDMI 2.1, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And they also brought back the memory card reader, which is very highly appreciated. Previous MacBooks only had HDMI 2.0, which confused a lot of people because HDMI was already available at the time. So with HDMI 2.0, you could only connect this MacBook to a 4K 60Hz monitor and it was such a waste because the normal screen of this MacBook already had a variable refresh rate and it was a high refresh rate so it was better to honestly look at the screen because it was better than any other monitors. The cool thing about HDMI 2.1 is that now you can connect the MacBook to an 8K 60Hz display. And if you have a 4K monitor, this could go all the way up to 240 hertz. So a huge upgrade there. Thank you, Apple, for finally putting HDMI 2.1 on this laptop. Another change they have is they now have Bluetooth 5.3. So Bluetooth 5.3 is just a little bit faster than Bluetooth 5.2. And if you have a Bluetooth 5.3 compatible device, like the second generation AirPods Pro, it becomes more efficient and it sounds a little bit better. That's something I have to test, not sure yet, but I'm pretty excited about that. They added Wi-Fi 6E, and to be honest with you, this is not something a lot of people are going to be using just because Wi-Fi 6E is pretty new and they're pretty pricey. And in order to enable Wi-Fi 6E, you need to have a compatible Wi-Fi 6E router. And so for my use case scenario, I usually trade stocks, I play games, and recently I've been editing videos. So when I tried this MacBook playing League of Legends, I decided to use the laptop screen first. I didn't connect this to my monitor and I played at the 1900 times 1200 resolution. And at high, I got FPS at around 165 to 200. And so the mid of that was around 180. So totally playable. And this monitor can do, I think up to 144 Hertz, but I'll have to double check that. So it is definitely playable when you're playing League of Legends. So what I did after playing in League of Legends, I decided to play Counter-Strike GO. I connected this to my monitor. I have the LG OLED 
240 hertz esports gaming monitor display and unfortunately playing at the actual resolution of 2560 times 1440 i put it at medium graphics and it could only go to 144 fps so that is such a waste because obviously i have a high refresh rate monitor however if your refresh if your monitor only has 144 hertz then it could be okay occasionally it would dip below to 100 fps so that's no good but realistically if you are buying a macbook to play games you are better off using shadow play or any of the game streaming devices and if you are mainly a gamer that wants to play on the go the macbook is not for you there's a lot of gaming laptops out there that has the rtx series graphics cards inside and that would be my recommendation if you are wanting to game on the go as far as video editing this macbook's pretty fast i edited my last video using this laptop and that was an 8 minute and 35 second 4k video with h264 that's canon and it rendered that video no problem at 10 minutes and 22 seconds so let's actually talk about who this macbook is for and if you should upgrade so i think if you have the intel macbooks still it is a good time to upgrade to this M2 laptops just because at time of filming, the M1 MacBooks are only discounted by $100. If you don't really do a lot of video editing and you don't need all of the power, the MacBook Airs are probably your best choice, especially if you're just doing light work and daily tasks. And to be honest with you, if you decide that you want to photo or video edit, that MacBook is actually more than capable to do 95% of everyone's task. If you can wait a little bit longer, I know the M1 Pros could be discounted up to $400. And the reason I know that is because two weeks ago, I actually bought one before they announced the release of these M2 Pros. And so with that said, the reason we're here is because I decided to return that laptop and I got this one so I could review it for you guys. If you already have an M1 Pro and M1 Max, I don't recommend upgrading to this because it's just like a steady bump. It's not a generational leap like going from Intel to Apple Silicon. It's just a little bit faster. Like Apple even said it themselves that it's only about 20% faster. So one piece of advice is if you are just looking for a discount, I would definitely look at the Apple refurbished or Apple certified refurbished store just because they are now selling the M1 MacBooks for a really cheap price. If you currently have an M1 and you're just looking for an upgrade, I would probably wait until the M3 MacBooks. And the rumor is they have three nanometer chips and that's very cool because it will be more efficient. And what that means, it would get added battery life and who knows, it might be again, a little bit faster so those are my current recommendations and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe i plan on doing more videos like this a little bit more of unboxing and a little bit more of reviews so that's it for me if you're still here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace